From the 20 yard line, McIlvain will go to the air, a quick swing pass, and there are in the country. They get back to the line of scrimmage, second down and 10. They'll try the left side this time, and the same results. The two linebackers on the line of scrimmage. They'll send Hummel, pressure from McDonald, and the sack leader from a year ago. The best pass rusher probably in the Big 12 Conference, and Will McDonald untouched, nobody blocking the Iowa State star defense. We talked about in 2016, the last time they met was a triple OT thriller. You and I leg, and they've started off him doing that so far today. Try to get the ground game going. You will see a number of different. Again, the Cyclones put Rose and Hummel in the center. This time they rush only four, drop seven into coverage, and they still healthy and prepared to play this season. And we're going to see if it's going to work out for them uh, today in this matchup. Back to you. There's a strike. Programs uh, uh, this year because of COVID. Holding call against you and I wipes out the big game. This is a designated draw by McIlvain uh, for a number of years. Pretty much broke every passing record at Des Moines Lincoln. Second down and Cyclones have showed the ability to get to the quarterback already a couple of sacks. They rush only two. McIlvain, nobody open downfield and he throws off his back foot, somehow gets it to McShane, and he has all sorts of green. Dion McShane to mid. Half of Will McDonald, McIlvain was able to do it. Big play for the Panthers on first down. They try to stretch it. Falling ahead. And now faced up against another Big 12 linebacker, this time in ropes. A bootleg to the right side. McIlvain over the middle. There's the tight end. Jaden is our referee today. Illegal touching. On the offense, number 84, player was covered up and caught the pass. It's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Still second down. This opening quarter on you and I, second down and 11. Ball on the near hash, McIlvain with time. Boy, he puts some juice on that throw, and he fires a strike, and Quan Hampton off to the races. They're not going to catch him. 12 championship, but possibly a playoff spot for this veteran-laden Cyclone team. Obviously, the Oklahoma game for them was huge. McIlvain against a three-man rush. Welcome back to Ames, third and 12 for McIlvain and the Panthers. He's going to take a shot deep downfield, receiver open, and a play 92-yard drive with the two big plays created by McIlvain. Second and third effort and not going down is Dom Williams. McIlvain off a of play fake. Receiver open near has been the two-year starter for you and I he started 21 of their last 23 games in a big hole for William Iowa He was the 17th best running back in the country coming out of high school. This kid's been highly recruited stick Running back by committee for you and I McIlvain rolls right he can run if he wants and he will touch days done your scrambling ability all my footage is old <laughs> <laughs> Here is Williams over the right side sure. Hoosman is the running back. He's joined by Bradrick Shaw. And this will be Shaw, the transfer from Cal. Just one of 11 players in Big 12 history to earn three. First team all Big 12 honors. McIlvain cut the UNI. 333 to go in this first half. Panthers down three. McIlvain gets rid of it quickly. McShane the catch. McIlvain with time, swings it out. Sean Kinney with you from Ames. Mark Farley and the Panthers trailing by three. Will McIlvain in this offense ready to go to work? All of playing physical football. And you could just hear it in the tone of his voice when we talked to him this week as McIlvain will tuck it in and run. And now type guy, you're in a lot of close ball games. And when you have the offensive lines that he produces, you win a lot of those ball games in the Missouri Valley Conference. Third and short and a second. So here he is in Cedar Falls. Ball start. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Here's Antoine Frazier is the new guy at guard, the transfer from Kansas. After the penalty, McIlvain trying to move the puck. Rose comes on a blitz. McIlvain, no. This is where he just rears back and comes after you. Will McDonald. 
tries the spin move. It's picked up. Drag route across the field. It's Wolkane at 8 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. Big 12 now on ESPN+, Plus has you covered with eight football games. Guy who just loves to hit. Second down and nine. McIlvain a play fake. He rifles it over near the sticks, giving some ground, and that caught. McIlvain will hand it off, and moving the sticks is done. Drive. Panthers fake the jet sweep motion. They'll run to the boundary side. Once again, it's Dom Williams. Game that can cost you, end up costing the game. If Northern Iowa gets the stop, ends up scoring, that'd be a huge, huge mistake in this ballgame. McIlvain with a floater, and it a three-man front. They run a stunt. You and I's O-line picks it up. McIlvain, time to choose, and a first down strike. Live receiver. Dubuque Sr.'s all-time leading rusher with a big third down catch. Sort of jet sweep or some sort of outside run. Those guys are pretty electric when they have the football. They're tough to bring in here on this second down play for that Cyclone defense. Again, they rush just three, and the hitch pattern is caught. Put a little extra this from Farley's offense today. Third down, McIlvain very comfortable floating. He'll try to throw near Sussa. Fourth down and four. McIlvain claps the hands. The sophomore floats under pressure, throws, and it's intercepted. State has done it. North Dakota State with a trio of victories over the past decade. And now well, they found him when Brock Purdy showed up on campus. Second down and eight. You and I from the 23-yard line. Up the middle they go with Dom Williams, and he is cracked at the line. Line to get is the 30. McElvain will step into the throw, and what a catch on both. Injury riddled spring only played three years his first catch of the day today Blow for Iowa State. We'll see more of Gary Vaughn the redshirt junior from Atlanta He's in there on this play flag flies and McIlvain Holding offense number 70 The penalties 10 yards from the previous spot still second down over Trevor Penning third down for McIlvain Pressure comes and it's deflected at the line of men for Iowa State and the Cyclones force the punt. The Iowa State brings a blitz up the middle, but the defensive ends. The UNI team that went three and four during spring ball and on first down, this is an offense that is point with how successful they are, how many guys they put in the NFL. Yeah, all four of their losses to four playoff teams. Here comes a blitz. McIlvain gets rid of it to Hoosman. Cyclones rush three out of the backfield. Williams makes the catch. And Fourth down. Hoosman the call. First down. You and I. Has been led by Mark Farley. He's watched his sons come through the program. Many a battles with Iowa State. This is going to be holding on you and I. McIlvain floating off to the right side. He'll holding offense number 75. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Still first down. Conservative defense. You're seeing John Haycock dial up the blitzes. Eight in the coverage. Zone look downfield. McIlvain twisted and caught. National runner-up in 1980. Second down and long for McIlvain. Comes near side. Caught by McShane. Twist back to the center. And a good open. Trips right for you and I. McIlvain's going to take a shot into double coverage. Nobody out there but Cyclones, and it's Daytrone Young with the interception. The second takeaway for ISU. You got to think it might be him. Maybe try a hook and ladder downfield as well. No, nope, McIlvain's going to go across the middle. It's caught, clock winding down, and that's it.